big one. Oh, 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 oh. Cut me off right at the braid. Oh, that was deep, man. Fuck. Oh. It's holding hands with the daughters. Yeah. That's what you need to do to get along with your parents. Once you get to that age. It's a nice walk, this little bushy part. It's really nice. Yeah. Woo! Look at this. Maybe I should have bought my heavy setup. I haven't got my medium. Uh, I'm not really expecting to catch anything big. But looking at the terrain, <laughs> I might just hook a monster. But um, yeah, maybe I should have bought my PE6 setup. But we'll, we'll just watch and see. There's a higher ledge there that will be a lot safer because it looks like the waves are building quite a bit just stand here and have a look see where it's fishable looks like it's just splashing up so yeah. uh, this looks amazing uh, let's give it a go this is incredible I don't know if it's fishable Oh. The one ledge that's fishable, you have to go down and across there, I think. And it's a bit sketchy. It's just too windy right now. And not in the direction I want it to be. I want it to shoot out this way, not this way. That means I've got to go down there and fish off that ledge which is steep drop <laughs> well I guess it's a beach session man didn't bring my heavy gear so so I spent most of my time there just beach fishing there weren't any fish around so yeah, we just enjoyed a little bit of beach time with the family. I cast it a few times. There weren't any fish around, so I moved on to a different spot. And this spot although was beautiful, with the sunrise just behind me, there weren't any fish here either. And we went to a road trip to somewhere a bit more sheltered from the weather. We had a lot of wind, a lot of swell, the entire time we were up there. And I thought this place would be nice to take the family to. It was actually really nice beach here. I did try fishing off the rocks just over there. But yeah, again, not a lot of fish, but a lot of dolphins.
Let's go. Get up. Let's go. Stop water. I'll fucking push you in the water. <laughs> Jig. New jig. Nature boy? Yeah, uh, nature boy. Uh, I think it's called the rock slider or something. Something rock. Woo! Cast far. Decent. Yeah. And he did he hook up? He lost three of them. Are you serious? <laughs> How did you lose three? Oh. Wow. They're not cheap too. <laughs> Can't believe it. I swam them at Foster and they swam good. Yeah, they jig really well. Good action. Just need to catch something on them. Yeah, they're like 20, close to 30 bucks each. <laughs> yeah, at ISO they are, yeah. Well, that's because ISO has to import them in. But they're pretty good because like they, um, they're, they're a lot tougher, more durable than like the normal lead ones. Uh, the paint's pretty good. Yeah, but they, the key is that they don't deform. Um, and like, uh, they also, you can also send them to the nature boys and they repaint them for you. No. Yeah, and they repaint and coat everything for you. How long will that take? I think it's like 10 bucks Auss Aussie yeah. total to send it to them and then. They're in where? They're in Japan. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that car's pretty well. Pretty impressed. They're really good jigs. They're like really like solid jigs. Because yeah. then they're meant they're designed not to be lost. What do you mean? To be re reusable. Because that's what the whole Nature Boys do. They make lures and stuff that are like. Super recyclable, reusable. Yeah. All the jigs come in like um, cardboard packaging. Uh, Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! This is a lot bigger, bro. Oh, it's like two hits. Oh, it's a king. Oh, it's multiple king. It's like two kings chasing after it, bro. It's two kings chasing after it. Huh? Two kings? Two kings? Yeah, two kings. Three, three, three. Very close. 
Woo! That was three of them, bro. Following it. Three. Three. Three following it. Woo! But <laughs> just as I was talking about how good the jigs were. <laughs> It worked! Hell yeah!
kingfish and chips. The chips are good. Let's try the kingfish. Mmm. Very good. But you can tell this kingfish has been um has been uh having liberties during winter and eating a lot because like it's really fatty. Alright, this meat just melt melts in your mouth, like wow. That's pretty good. Let's try the one with the skin. Mmm, really crispy skin. That is good. Well, let's try sashimi. Uh, or should, should, should I say carpaccio? Let's get a little bit of, of uh, wasabi. Oh, yes. Oh, how I miss this. Kingfish carpaccio. Can't beat it. Woo. That's too good. Nice and silky texture to the uh, sashimi. The meat is just really fresh, breaks in, breaks apart in your mouth. Anyway, that's the catch and cook. Hope you guys liked the video. Yo!